What I'm about to reveal will fundamentally change how you view winter weather patterns. And the timing of this shift couldn't be more critical. We're witnessing the most significant atmospheric reorganization we've seen all season long, with multiple forecast models showing remarkable agreement on something extraordinary. The snow pattern that has dominated North America for weeks is about to undergo a complete transformation that will affect millions of people from coast to coast. For areas that have been completely shut out of meaningful winter weather so far this season, your time may finally be coming. But for regions that have grown accustomed to regular snow and cold, you're about to experience something far more intense than anything we've seen this winter. Let me break down exactly what the models are showing, which areas have the best chances, and what kind of dramatic changes we're potentially looking at. Comment below with your exact location right now because this pattern shift will affect different regions in completely different ways over the next two weeks. First, let me set the stage for what's happening with the overall atmospheric pattern because this matters for everything that follows. What has been one of the top five mildest winters on record so far across central and western regions is about to face its greatest challenge yet. This remarkable warmth stands in sharp contrast to Alaska and Western Canada, which are experiencing one of the coldest winters we've seen in quite some time. As I witness these extraordinary atmospheric dynamics unfolding across our continent, I'm reminded that these complex patterns reflect the incredible wisdom and power of God's natural design. The past 30 days have revealed exactly where this unusual warmth pattern has concentrated fundamentally altering traditional snowfall distribution. Snow has fallen primarily in colder pockets, including the Great Lakes region, much of New England, portions of the Northeast, and scattered mountainous areas. But here's what makes this situation absolutely remarkable. It's been nearly impossible to accumulate significant snow, even in traditional mountain strongholds. Colorado, Utah, and parts of Nevada have barely experienced half the snowfall they should typically receive during this critical portion of winter. Denver residents have endured an unseasonably mild winter with snow totals running dramatically below normal, but that's about to change. Salt Lake City and surrounding mountain areas face similar deficits with ski resorts struggling to maintain adequate snow coverage. We have a massive ridge of high pressure building in pink and red colors across the Pacific Northwest and extending up into Western Canada. What this ridge configuration will do is prime our atmospheric pattern downstream in the central but especially the eastern United States. This ridge will respond downstream with a deep trough developing in the east, creating the perfect setup for multiple winter storms as we progress through late week and into the weekend. Here's what we're dealing with on this Tuesday midday. We have a clipper system currently moving through our region. This clipper is bringing light snow across portions of the Great Lakes, but it's moving quickly and won't produce significant accumulation. However, this clipper represents just the beginning of a much more active pattern that's about to unfold across the eastern United States. We're tracking a massive Arctic front approaching later this week that will deliver the most significant temperature drop we've experienced all season. But this isn't just a typical cold snap. We're looking at a fundamental reorganization of the atmospheric pattern across North America. Lake effect snow production is about to explode across the Great Lakes region, with some areas potentially seeing their biggest snow event in years. Like this video right now because what develops over western portions of lower Michigan could be absolutely unprecedented for this time of year. Southwest lower Michigan and northwest Indiana represent ground zero for what could become an epic lake effect snow event. Chicago residents need to understand that your proximity to Lake Michigan puts you in the crosshairs for potentially dramatic snow accumulation. Detroit area residents are positioned perfectly for significant lake effect enhancement from both Lake Huron and Lake St. Clair. Buffalo and Rochester residents should prepare for what could be your most significant lake effect snow event of the entire season. Some of these lake effect snow bands could produce staggering totals. We're talking 10, 12, potentially even 15 inches in just a couple of days. Cleveland area residents face excellent prospects for substantial lake effect snow that could completely transform your winter experience. But the lake effect story is just the beginning. 
there's something much bigger developing that has me genuinely excited about winter's return. The signal across the East Coast has been consistently pointing toward potential weekend storm development, but models are telling a complex story. While this weekend may not deliver the blockbuster storm that coastal areas desperately want, the pattern is setting up for something much more significant later. The atmospheric flow remains frustratingly fast for coastal storm development, preventing the phasing that creates major nor'easters. I completely understand the disappointment for folks in Boston and New York City who have been waiting desperately for meaningful snow. But here's what you need to understand. The fast jet stream flow that's preventing weekend storms is about to undergo dramatic changes. By Thursday morning, wet snowflakes could potentially be flying in Raleigh, and we can't even rule out the possibility of snow flurries reaching as far south as Columbia, South Carolina. I would not completely rule that out, but I think the better chances will be up into North Carolina and into coastal Virginia areas. Share this forecast because areas to the north, including northern New England and southeastern Canada, will continue seeing active snow conditions. This active pattern will persist through January 20th, but then something absolutely remarkable begins to unfold. Our primary cold air source is making a dramatic return as the polar vortex establishes itself over Hudson Bay in eastern Canada. This massive atmospheric feature arrives by Sunday, January 18th, just in time for what could become a historic Arctic outbreak. The polar vortex will essentially take up residence in eastern Canada, creating a sustained cold pattern unlike anything we've seen this winter. In fact, the strongest lobe of the tropospheric polar vortex is positioning itself directly in our backyard within eastern Canada. This positioning means it won't require much atmospheric disturbance to tap into brutally cold air that's been building for weeks. Chicago Bears fans attending the playoff game against the Los Angeles Rams at Soldier Field on Sunday night need to prepare for what could be dangerously cold conditions. Minneapolis and St. Paul residents are about to experience some of the most severe cold of the entire winter season. Milwaukee and Green Bay area residents should prepare for sustained Arctic conditions that will make this one of the coldest stretches in years. Detroit residents will experience bitter cold that could produce wind chills approaching dangerous levels for extended periods. But here's where this story becomes absolutely extraordinary. The pattern shows remarkable persistence extending well into early February. The connection developing between Pacific Energy and the desert southwest will provide some relief. But true Arctic air remains locked in the east. Alaska reveals a fascinating meteorological principle as it transitions into remarkably warm conditions during the final week of January. This demonstrates the classic atmospheric seesaw. All that cold air currently dominating Alaska will migrate southward into the eastern United States. Now here's the development that has me monitoring weather models around the clock. The winter storm track for late January. Subscribe right now because multiple forecast models are showing consistent signals for a major winter storm during the final week of January. While we shouldn't interpret specific snowfall forecasts literally at this range, the atmospheric signals are becoming incredibly strong. Will this potentially historic system target the Midwest and Ohio Valley, bringing the season's most significant snowstorm? Could it impact the Northeast and I-95 corridor, finally delivering the blockbuster storm that coastal cities have been desperately awaiting? Or might we see a massive system affecting broad areas of the central and eastern United States with snow, ice, and severe weather? This represents the most significant winter storm potential we've tracked all season. And the timing couldn't be more intriguing. Columbus and Cincinnati residents should pay extremely close attention because you're positioned in historically favored storm track zones. Pittsburgh area residents could experience substantial impacts depending on the exact track and intensity of this developing system. Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. residents represent critical markets that could see their first major winter weather event of the season. The consistency appearing across multiple teleconnection indices is absolutely remarkable and highly unusual for this time of year. The NAO, Arctic Oscillation, and Pacific North American Oscillation are all aligning in ways that strongly support major storm development. 
Everything is essentially coming together to create the perfect atmospheric setup for significant winter weather during late January. Boston area residents need to understand that while this weekend disappoints, the late January pattern shows dramatically more promise. New York City residents face similar circumstances, limited immediate snow potential, but increasing signals for substantial late month action. Hartford and Providence residents are positioned where slight pattern adjustments could completely transform your winter weather prospects. Portland, Maine and Burlington residents typically benefit from these atmospheric patterns due to latitude and moisture access. Tell me in the comments which aspects of this dramatic pattern shift you'd like me to explore further in upcoming forecast. Albany residents should prepare for sustained cold conditions with multiple opportunities for significant accumulating snow. The transformation we're witnessing represents a fundamental shift from mild early winter into something authentically winter-like. This isn't merely a brief cold snap. We're examining pattern persistence that could extend well into early February. Kansas City and St. Louis residents should monitor developments closely because you're positioned where major winter storms frequently develop. Louisville and Indianapolis residents face similar positioning within potential storm tracks, making this pattern evolution particularly relevant. Nashville and Memphis residents should understand that while you're typically on the southern edge, this pattern could change everything. Atlanta area residents won't likely experience direct snow impacts but the temperature changes will be dramatically noticeable. Jacksonville and Miami residents will definitely feel the temperature effects of this pattern, though winter precipitation remains extremely unlikely. The consistency across multiple forecast models and teleconnection patterns suggest unusually high confidence in this dramatic evolution. For winter weather enthusiasts who have been waiting patiently through this mild start, this represents exactly what you've been hoping to experience. The shift from record warmth to potentially historic cold and snow events will be talked about for years to come. Hit that notification bell so you receive immediate updates as this extraordinary pattern transformation continues developing. We must remain patient as details continue evolving, but conditions are definitively becoming colder and more active across eastern regions. Make sure you're bundling up appropriately, especially during this upcoming weekend when Arctic air arrives in full force. Thank you for joining me for this comprehensive analysis of what promises to become one of winter's most dramatic transformations. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful, lovely rest of your Tuesday out there. Stay warm, stay safe, bundle up significantly, and stay tuned as we continue tracking this remarkable atmospheric evolution. This pattern shift will be remembered as the moment when winter 2026 finally showed its true power across North America.